So how many members have installed JDK and Eclipse? Okay. Okay. So today we will see how to create Java project. After installing Eclipse, the icon will be displayed like this. Just you can click, double click on this icon. So my workspace is online batch and then click on launch. So this is an empty instance of Eclipse. So now we will see step by step. So creating a Java project. So creating a Java project. The first step is step one. Go to file menu. So first go to file menu and then click on new. Select project. Select Java project. And click on next button. So this is the first step. So first we will do open your Eclipse. Just click on file menu. Click on new and then select project, select Java project, select Java project and then click on next button. So this is the first step. So the second step is give the name of the project. Will be the name of the project. For example, automation. Okay. Just to go to the open the Eclipse. Here we have to specify the project name. So I am giving the project name as Core Java. So, so automation I am giving here. I am giving here automation. I use my project name. Okay. And then the third step is select here Java SC 11, Java Standard Edition 11, and then click on finish. Okay. Select Java SC 11 and then click on finish. So it will take a little bit of time. So click on do not create button. Okay, so the project will be created. So the next step is, third step is select as Java SE is nothing but Java standard edition 11 and click on finish button. Click on finish button. And Click on do not create button. Click on do not create button. So this is the third step. So, so the project will be created like this. Okay. So by default, JRE system library and SRC folder will be created. So this is a package explorer. Under the package explorer and Java project, with the name given, automation can be observed. Okay. So just you have to expand this Java project. So the Java project must and should contain the JRE system library and SRC folder. Here JRE system library contains multiple jar files. 
So you have to expand this one. It will contain multiple jar files. Jar is nothing but Java archive files. Okay. So and SRC folder. SRC folder is nothing but it represents the source folder or source code folder. Okay. So I will written here. So the top step four is. So under the package explorer. Under the package explorer. On Java project. Under the package explorer on, we are giving here automation project. So automation project with the name with the name given can be observed. Observe. This is the fourth point, and then we have to expand that. Expand. The Java project expand the Java project. Java project created. So the Java project must and should contain. So the Java project must and should contain. Contain JRE system library. JRE is nothing but Java runtime environment. JRE system library. JRE system library and SRC folder. And SRC folder. This is the fourth step. Fifth step is. So JRE system library contains. So JRE system library contains multiple jar files jar is nothing but java archive files so jar is system library contains multiple jar files multiple jar files so jar is nothing but java archive file java archive files Okay, so this is my fifth step, and the sixth step is SRC folder. So SRC folder represent SRC folder represents to source folder or source code folder, source folder or source code folder, source code folder. So I am giving here one note, note, note. So programs related to either Java or Selenium WebDriver scripts should be written within the SRC folder of your project. So either Java related scripts or Selenium related scripts can be written within the SRC folder. So this is the note point. So here programs related to Either Java or Selenium web driver is our tool. Selenium web driver. Selenium, sorry, Selenium web driver scripts should be written in, should be written in. SRC folder, SRC folder of the project. This is how we can create the project. Okay. So what we will do first, just open your Eclipse and go to file menu and then click on new and select project. So select Java project and click on next button. So here we have to give the project name. So I am giving here just manual is my project name and select here java standard edition as 11 and then click on finish okay um, so here you cannot create any module so that's why you click on don't create okay so here manual is my project name 
so under package explorer so the project will be created so under the project by default jre system library and src folder will be created so jre system library contains multiple jar files jar is nothing but java archive files so whenever you have to install jdk so by default some jar files will be configured here so those jar files are comes under jre system library so and src src represents source folder or source code folder so either java related scripts or selenium web driver scripts can be written in src folder so this is the brief introduction how we have to create a java project so after creating the java project next what we have to do what we have to do next creating a java project creating a java project creating a java project so under src folder you have to create either java related script or selenium related script you have to written in src folder how you can create a java project or ja sorry how you can create a java program so under project you have to create the program java programs creating a java programs okay just go to the open the eclipse so just I am removing this project under SRC folder. Right click on the SRC folder. Right click on the SRC folder in the project. Select new and select here package. Okay. So SRC folder. Click on right click. Select new and select package. Okay. So I am returning step here. The first step is just right click, right click on the SRC folder, right click on the SRC folder in the project, select new and select package. Select new, select to package. So give the name of the package. So just right click, new package. So give the name of the package. So the package name is always starts with lowercase letter. So here you have to specify the package. So package is nothing but a container. So container is nothing but you have to store the values, right? So package. So here we have package name is always starts with lowercase letter. So I am giving here just com dot basic Java. I am giving and then click on finish. So the package will be created under my SRC folder. So the next step is select package. Give the name of the package. Give the name of the package and the package name. So the package name is always starts with starts with lowercase letter. So lowercase letter. So package name always starts with lowercase letter. Right? So open eclipse. So package will be created under src folder so under package we have to create the classes okay so under package you need to create class how you can create so for example i am giving here com dot basic java so the first letter will be so first letter will be lowercase letter and the followed letter will be uppercase and then followed letter will be uppercase here we would no need to specify any space okay so the next step so just I'm giving here example, example. So com dot my program. This is an example. Next under package, we have to create the class. Just open your Eclipse, right click on the package, click on new, click on class, okay? Click on select new and select the class. The class name is always starts with uppercase letter. So my 
first Java program. I am giving here my first Java program. Okay. And here I am taking main method. Here I am taking main method and then click on finish. Okay. Main method and click on finish. So under package class will be created. Okay. The next step is what? So right click on the right click on the so right click on the package created right click on the package created and select new select new and select class select the class the class name class name is always starts with always starts with starts with uppercase letter uppercase letters okay okay so this is the second step and then for example i am giving here core java program so this is the example for creating class okay so then then what you will do select select the checkbox select the checkbox as public public static void main string arguments string string args okay string args and click on click on finish button finish button okay and then click on finish button so after clicking on finish button a java program structure is created in your eclipse interface a java interface can be created in your eclipse this is the java program okay now so this is the java structure java program structure is created in the eclipse interface like this one okay so the next step is a java program a java program structure is created structure is created in the eclipse interface eclipse interface can be observed observe so this is the way you have to create the program java program just open the eclipse just under src folder you have to create the package under package you have to create the class so the program structure will be created like this okay this is the structure so every word so every word in the public static void main statement has got a meaning in the java virtual machine so what is what is public what is static what is void what is main what is string arguments every word have some meaning okay so we will describe that that one so just so public is nothing but what it is a Java access modifier. So public is a Java access modifier. What is Java access, access modifier means? We will discuss in the further classes. Okay. So just as of now, just public is an access modifier. Okay. And static. Static is nothing but it is a keyword. It is a keyword. And then void. Void is nothing but it is a written type. Written type. Void is nothing but a written type. Main is nothing but a method name. Main is nothing but a method name. The program execution is always starts with main method. Here, the program execution is always starts with starts with main method 
always starts with main method and string arguments arguments is nothing but string type so string string args args is nothing but arguments so is nothing but a array of array of string type okay so public static void main is got some meaning like public is a java access modifier static is a keyword void is a written type main is a method name and by using main method the program execution is always starts with the main method and then string arguments arguments is nothing but array so this symbol you can denote it as a array array of string type okay so here written type static public so without this one we cannot execute any program okay so it represents like a starting program public static void main means without this this statement you cannot execute any program okay so under this one we have to write like i am passing some state, statement this is this is an unstuffed method so no need this one so just you have to pass some statement system dot out dot println so here in case if you are forget forgetting for clicking this checkbox public static void main checkbox then what happen it will be displayed like this just a class will be created so the shortcut key is just type here main control space enter okay so main type main control space enter this is the keyboard keyboard syntax okay shortcut syntax so type main control space and enter so whenever you have to forget in that checkbox then you have to do like this okay so under main method you have to pass some statements so i am giving here just system dot out dot println yes why yes wo control space enter i am passing here some statement like i am using here testing okay so here system dot out dot println is nothing but system dot dot system dot sorry system dot out dot println system dot out dot println is nothing but it is used to print the statements in console so it is used to print the statements into console hi hi uh, what is the meaning of system? Uh, system. Can you elaborate? Yeah. System dot out dot printer. Those yes, three yes. Are keyword. Yeah. System. What is system? You have to give some input. Right. It is a name of Java utility class, actually. Okay. It is a name of Java utility class. Out is nothing but it is an object which belongs to the class. Okay, println is nothing but it is a method name which is used to send any string to console. So output, if you if you send any string values in the output, then you are using println statement. So we cannot pass any integer value on the uh, println method, right? Yes, yes. You cannot okay. pass just a statement string values only. You have to pass system dot out dot println. That's it. Okay, so every word have meaning. Like system is having one meaning out is having one meaning and println is having one meaning but all this one is used to print the statements in console only okay so system is nothing but it is the name of java utility class so out and it is an out is out is nothing but it is an object so that belongs to the class okay println is used to print the statements in console okay so i am giving here just i am passing some statement here just right click run as java application so in my console so this is the console so in my console it is the text will be printed by using system dot out dot print and i am passing some statement in my main method so i am using this main main method this is the main method open and closed curly braces so apart from main method wherever you have to give this statement wherever you have to pass this statement it will not be executed for example same statement i am passing 
within the class and try to execute. Just it is throwing an error. So it is throwing an error because you have to call statements in main method only. You cannot call the call the statements in within the class or outside the main method. Just you have to call the statements in main method only. Okay. So that's why it is throwing an error. Okay. So system.out.println is used to print the data in console. So now we'll start the programs actually. So what is the difference between the print and println? Is there any difference? Are both are same? Print only. Uh... So difference between? Difference between print and println. Only one keyword is printed on uh, while using print method. Sorry, no. might be wrong. Yeah, yeah. So in Java, print and println both are used to display the output on the console, but they work slightly different. So what is the difference? So in Java, in Java, print and println both are used to print the data. Both are used to print the data in console only. Console. But, but they work slight different. Slight different. Slight different. So in Java, print and println, both are used to display the output on the console, but they work the slight different. Now we will see what is the difference between the print and println. So print, print is nothing but, so to print the text, but it does not move the cursor to the next line. So it will print the text, but it does not move the cursor into the next line. So that is the meaning for print. So what is print? Print, print, prints the, print, prints the text, but it does not, but it does not move the cursor move the cursor to the next line. Next line. Okay. And if you use printer multiple times, the output will be continue the same line. So, if you use print statement, if you use print statement, multiple times multiple times so the output will be the output will be continue the same line continue with the same line same line for example i am giving some example here for example i am using here system dot system dot set sorry system dot out dot print ln system dot out so here you are we are using print so that's why system dot out dot print i am specifying here within the double quotation i am passing some statement hello hello so ends with semicolon so system dot out dot print ln so here also I am passing some statement. I am giving just word within the double quotation and ends with semicolon. So now the output will be, so output, 
output will be like hello world output will be hello world so everything on one line it will be printed so everything on on one line okay so print means print prints the text but it does not move the cursor to the next line if you use print multiple times the output will be continue with the same line so for example i am using here system dot out dot print print is nothing but it will be printed but the cursor will not move to the next line so that's why system dot out dot print again so sorry system dot out dot print again we are using here the same line it will be printed the output will be hello world so but whenever we are using here print ln print ln statement using print ln statement print ln ln prints print ln prints the text so quite opposite prints the text and then move the cursor to the next line move the cursor to the next line move the cursor to the next line and if you use print ln multiple times each message will be printed on a new line okay so the quite opposite for print statement okay so if you use if you can use print ln multiple times multiple times multiple times each message each message will be printed on a new line new line so here ln is nothing but a new line or next line you can call it as a next line for example for example so same i am giving above statements i am passing only just copy and paste here so i am using the print place print ln i am using print ln so here also i am using print ln okay so now the output will be output will be like hello hello so and world will be printed in two different lines okay so that is the major difference between the print and print ln summary what is the summary for print and print ln means print keeps the output on the same line print ln prints the output and moves to the next line okay so that is that is the summary for print and print ln so just i am giving brief summary for print and print ln print print it keeps the output on the same line same line but print ln print ln same line print ln prints the output and moves to the next line moves to the next line so now we will see in practical so this is the difference print means it will print the text but it does not move to the cursor in the next line so if you use print multiple times the output will be continue with the same line so example i am giving system dot out dot print ln so it will be printed everything will be printed in one one line only print ln prints the text and then move to the cursor to the next line so if you can use print ln for multiple times each message will be printed on a new line so example we will see hello and world will be printed in two different lines okay so now we will see in practical so just i am removing this one system dot out dot print ln s y s o control space enter so this is the keyword keyboard shortcut key 
S Y S O control space enter. Okay. So here I am using first print. Print I am passing here just hello. Okay. So run the script. So run as Java application. So hello will be printed. So next is system dot out dot print ln. Sorry, print. I am specifying here what. Hello, wonder. So run the script. So the cursor will be in the same line. So here we have to move your cursor. So now the cursor will be in after the O place. So the cursor will be like here. So it will be printed here only. So run the script. So run as Java application. So hello world will be printed. So whenever we are using the print statement, so it will be printed in the same line. Okay, so now we will see the difference. Uh, print ln I am giving here. Just I am giving print ln. So here also I am giving print ln. Okay, run this script. So either you have to run here, right click, run as Java application. We have to run the script like this, or else you can go with the main menu bar and click on run, run button. Like that, or else you can go with the class, right click. So run as Java application, okay? Or in sub menu also we have like this one, uh, like run my first Java program. Here also you have to run, okay? So here we are using println. Println is nothing but you have to print the data in the next line. So hello will be printed. The cursor will move to the next line. Then the text will be printed in the next line. So this is the difference between print and println. So now I want to test some print and println statements. So what is the output we will get? So, so here I am using print system.out.println. I am using here automation testing. Automation testing. And then System dot out dot print ln. This is my first class. First class. So now guess what is the output? So anyone in the class? Yeah, hello world will print in first line. Okay. In next line, automation testing, and the uh, third line, uh, it will print. This is my first class. Is it yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, okay. So here we are using print ln. Print ln means hello will be printed, the cursor will be moved into the next line, right? So that is the statement for print ln. So hello will be printed, the cursor will move to the next line. Here, world will be printed, the cursor will be now here. Next, automation testing will be printed here, world automation testing. And then the cursor will be moved to the next line. Then it will be moved, printed as this is my first class. So just right click, run as Java application. Now we will see. So hello. So why? Because here we are using print ln statement. Okay. So it will be printed and the cursor will be moving into the next line. Okay. So then world will be printed. Here we are using print statement. Print means the cursor will be here only. So that's why automation testing will be printed here. And here we are using ln. Ln means the next line. So this is my first class will be printed. Now the cursor will be in the same line or next line? Next line. Yes, next line. System dot out dot print ln. I'm using here Java. Now the output will be After this is my class, uh, the next line, it will print Java. Printed at Java. So here Java will be printed. The cursor will be moving into the next line because here we are using print ln. So run as Java application. Okay. So now the cursor, Java will be printed. And whenever I am using here, the system dot out dot print ln. So I am giving here manual. Now the output will be 
Java and Manual will be printed. So whenever I am using here print statement, print statement, then the output will be Java Manual will be printed in the same line that the cursor will be moving into the next line. Okay, now, okay. So if you practice here, what is the difference between print and print ln? So print ln means it will be printed and cursor will move to the next line. Print means it will be printed in the same line. Okay. So all of you clear for print and print ln? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yes. The next one is concatenation. Are you heard about this word? Concatenation. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So combining, concatenation is nothing but combining two, two or more statements. Two or more statements into a single statement is nothing but a concatenation. Combining two or more statements into a single statement. It is nothing but a concatenation. Okay. So now we will see. So under package, I am creating one more class. New class. Uh, so class name I am giving here just concatenation. Concatenation. Example I am giving. Here I am taking main method and then click on finish. So what is concatenation means combining two or more statements into a single statement. So I am passing just, I am using the data type like a string, first name equal to, like I am using like Durga soft ends with semicolon. Okay, so because why I am using a string is group of characters, a group of characters, we can call it as a string. Okay, so next string last name equal to I am giving here just online ends with semicolon and then string full name Full name equal to first name concatenation is nothing but a plus. Okay, first name concatenation with I am giving some space here and again concatenation with last name. Last name ends with semicolon. So system dot out dot print ln full name. Copy and paste here. Just right click and run the script. So run as Java application. So Durgosa online will be printed. Or else we have to comment this one. Comment this one. So in previous what we will see like hello world automation testing. This is my first class Java manual. These are all strings, statements. These are all statements. Combining two or more statements into a single statement. It is nothing but a concatenation. So, for example, I am giving just a system dot out dot print ln. So, hello is my statement. It will be concatenated. Plus is nothing but a concatenation. So, hello. I am mentioning one more statement here. World. World. And again, it will be concatenation with automation testing. Automation testing. And again, it will be concatenated with this is my first class. First class. This is my first class. And again, it will be concatenated with concatenated with Java. And again, concatenated with manual. Okay. Just concatenation is nothing but combining two or more statements into a single statement. It is nothing but a concatenation. Just run as Java application. Okay. So it will be printed in the same line, right? So combining two or more statements into a single statement. It is nothing but a concatenation. So the time complexity and space complexity can be 
reduced by using concatenation. Okay, so for example, you, you can give some space for hello world automation testing. This is my first class Java and manual. Then what you have to do? So again, you have to concatenation with some space. Okay, same like that here also. And giving some space. Here also you have to give some space. And then... This is my first class. So here also you have to provide some space. Concatenation with some space. Okay. So Java and manual. Also I am giving some space. Just run this script. So run as Java application. So the space will be accepted hello world space automation testing this is my first class space java space manual so in place of space also we had to provide like comma or semicolon so whatever it may be we had to provide no issues like that okay just run this script so run as Java application or else you can use control plus F11. Okay, control plus F11. Keyboard shortcut key, control plus F11. And then if you comment this one, just select this one and control plus forward slash. It will be commented. So these statements will not be executed. For example, I am running this script. So run as Java application. So it will not execute. If you are commenting these statements, it will not execute. So just select control plus forward slash to comment the statements. So this is the single line comment. Okay. So to unselect these comments, just control plus forward slash only. Okay. Select the control plus forward slash. So this is the syntax. So to increase the font size, just you have to select the control plus A and control plus plus to increase the font size. To decrease the font size, control plus minus. Okay. Like that, you have to increase and decrease the size. And also alignment issues. Like, for example, this is like. So alignment is not clear. Then you, what you have to do, control plus A. Select plus control plus I is indentation. Control plus I is indentation. Okay. So, all of you clear for print and print LN and concatenation? Sorry, what is indentation? Indentation is nothing but alignment. Correct oh. format. Oh. Okay. 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 Control plus I. So, that's it for today. If you have any doubt uh, for this concept, print, print LN and concatenation. Yeah. Can I discuss more... Uh related to off topic uh, can i take five minutes yeah yeah or two no minutes issue. yeah yeah uh, no issues okay so what we will discuss today's class just how you have to create the java program how you have to create the java project right how you can create the Java project and how you can create the Java program. So Java project is nothing but just right click file, right click new project, select Java project and click on next button. Okay. Give here project name and select Java standard edition 11 and then click on finish. So the project will be created under your package explorer. So under project we have JRE system library and SRC folder. So JRE is nothing but Java runtime environment. So Java runtime environment must and should contain some jar files, multiple jar files. Jar is nothing but Java archive file. And SRC is nothing but source folder or source code folder. Okay. So either Selenium related scripts or Java related scripts can be written in SRC folder. Okay. So just how you can create the Java program is just right click on SRC folder, click on new, click on package. So just click new, 
package. So the package name always starts with lowercase letter and then click on finish. So under package, you have to create the class. Class name is always starts with uppercase letter. Same, under package, right click, new class. Class name always starts with uppercase letter and then click on finish. So the class will be created under your package. Okay, so the next one is what we will discuss. What's the difference between print and print ln? So print means it will be printed in the same line. Print ln means it will be printed in the next line. So that is the difference between print and print ln. Concatenation is nothing but combining two or more statements into a single statement. So this is the today's concept. So tomorrow we will see like what is class, what is object and what is method. So that's it for today. Any queries? No, no. Yeah, okay. Okay, then bye. Bye. Yeah.